Hi there, I'm Frank Snyder, and uh, just have kind of a unique story to, to tell you about Mill Creek Park. Uh, I was a child, this was the late 60s, early 70s, and uh, my mother was uh, kind of known in the neighborhood for being a little different. She uh, was probably the only female, maybe even in Canfield where I grew up, uh, that would catch snakes. And she was, she taught us as children how to catch snakes. And she could identify a garter snake and a black snake and you know, all the things, the varieties you'd see in your gardens and things like that. So uh, one day she caught a really beautiful snake. It, it was ringed. It had uh, different colors on it, crimson and white and uh, different shades of gray. And, uh, but she didn't know what it was. So I was handling the snake and the snake actually bit me. So being concerned, she took us over to my neighbor's house, and uh, his name was Lee. We called him Big Lee. But uh, he looked at it and said, I don't know, it looks like a coral snake to me. So <laughs> coral snakes being poisonous, obviously my mother was quite concerned. So uh, in her quick thinking, she thought, well, where could I go to get the snake identified? She, she decided we go to the old mill at uh, Mill Creek Park. Uh, went to the old mill, and as we were going down the hill to get to Lanterman's Mill, uh, I'm running, and she said, oh, that's right, son, you know, move around more so the poison gets through your bloodstream, you know, and quicker. So I kind of laughed it off a little, really didn't think it was poison. But anyway, we brought the snake down there. They, they identified it as a milk snake, a beautiful little snake, and uh, pretty much was a non-event. But for us, I guess, in Canfield, that was a big day. So that's my Mill Creek Park story. Thanks.